Hello Fallout lovers and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to spotlight a new mod that I found called Conquest Build New Settlements and Campsites. So I like this whole idea of building a settlement pretty much anywhere I wanted in the Commonwealth because there's a lot of dilapidated buildings and you know these small little towns that I could kind of take over and make into my own settlement so that kind of excited me. So I decided to do some experimentation with this mod. So I wanted to go to Nautica Bank. Nautic, Nautic Banks? Nautic, Nautica? Nautica Banks? Because it's like this small little town. So um, I decided that this would be like a really cool place that I could build, you know, my own settlement. So I took my vertebrate. I flew on down here and proceeded to clear the area first. Now, I haven't been down here in a while, maybe my first playthrough or to, with Nick to get his tapes. I just came down here to go to the police station and really didn't explore too much and left. And I realized that there was this um, super mutant camp in here. I said, wow, it's great. Deathclaws did most of the work for me, killed all the super mutants. If I just had to kill two Deathclaws. And I said, wow, this is great. Look at walls. I mean, it's pretty much... I can just clear this out and claim this for my own. It's going to be a great settlement. Well, I found out a little disappointed because um, once you read all the directions for the mod and everything, it's pretty simple. You just kind of set it up um, to activate this cool little... this. First, it's a campsite. So you go into your inventory, you go to aid... It's going to say make a campsite. So we're going to set up our little campsite here. And what this does is this makes a mini workshop. And in this mini workshop, we can basically make camping irons. A, you know, a campfire, a sleeping bag, maybe a chair, a little stove. And then you have the option of building a workshop to make the larger settlement. And the, again, that's all in the description for the mod itself. There's a whole readme that goes along with it. So... I could not build my campsite here. I tried building a sleeping bag, everything. It was all in the red. I couldn't build a workshop, nothing. So I said, all right, maybe I'll go to Red Rocket and I'll use the Red Rocket to set it up. Same thing. Couldn't do it. Couldn't. Would not allow me to put anything down. It was all in the red. So I said, okay, let's just go down here and we'll, we'll test this out. There's got to be something. And, you know, I had an inclination that maybe somewhere along the line it, it was not allowing me. And I was hoping that, oh, no, that it wasn't going to be because this was already a settlement. And lo and behold, after I went ahead and set up a campsite kind of down the road there a little bit, sure enough... I could build my, my workshop not too far with my campsite not too far away. And I was hoping maybe it was just because it was it was the buildings. I was hoping it was not because of the structures themselves. So I got as close as I could to the town and realized that there is a border right outside. So basically the super mutant camp that whole that was already a settlement, that the game is already kind of put its own borders in that that is a settlement location um, and it's a super mutant settlement and I can't I can't take it over I can't um, so that kind of limits me if it's a if it's an area that another faction has claimed as their own settlement I'm not going to be able to build a settlement there um, I mean the settlement size is pretty big for an area if I was going to do it out in the open I could you know just kind of create an entire settlement right around like this checkpoint here um, I could create one but for this particular mod I'm looking for places that are structured so I went and I went to another location and I believe this is a, a trailer park I can't remember the name of it but it's uh, down from uh, I, I just showed it on the map but this location did work. Um, I could build a workshop, and I was like, that's great, because I kind of like to take over this this trailer park and clean it up and make it my own and make it a settlement for settlers because it's got all the nice little trailers. I like, just throw beds in them and decorate. It'll be great. 
um, throw some shops, I can make some caps. Because really what I want to do is expand my settlement so I can make some money. So I built my workshop, and here we go. I'm ready to clean this place up, and I can't scrap anything. Nothing. Oh, well, okay. I got a bed. Oh, I can scrap the ghouls. Yay! But I can't scrap that ghoul. Okay, so basically it looks like I'm hit or miss when it comes to what I can scrap. So I decided that maybe I'm going to try another location um, to see if is it the mod not scrapping things? So I ran on down to Arcject Systems. I just threw one out. And, again, I was hoping that, is it just not letting me scrap things? Is it, you know, is it not getting these general things? Is it just that location? Am I going to have better luck in other locations? So, I went into work, I made a workshop right outside ArcJet, and I went out to begin scrapping, and look at this, I can scrap the garbage, I can scrap this and I went around and I literally was able to completely clean up the outside of ArcJet systems. I could scrap the mattresses, I could scrap everything so it just seems to be kind of really what location that you decide to use. So it's going to be basically for me a lot of trial and error. Um, I'm going to have to go through and basically build a workshop and uh, the difference, like here, I could do the barrels, I could do trash. I mean, I cleaned up the whole thing. So, one other great option that I found with this is it has the ability you can transfer stuff in. You can transfer stuff into this duffel bag, and when you close your campsite and bring the duffel bag back in, there is zero weight. So, basically, you have this kind of glitch where you can carry an infinite amount of scrap doesn't really fall in too much with the lore, but with me having a vertebrate, and, you know, my vertebrate can carry, you know, 25,000 pounds of weight. So, in my mind, this is really just the cargo that my vertebrate is using, you know? So, look alive. that is going to, because I can't really store anything in the vertebrate, and I should be able to. So, this kind of what meshes with with that mod, and I'll leave a link to my Vertibird mod that I use. Actually, that's the intro video, um, which should have a link yeah. in the description below. Um, so I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe. I'm going to do more videos than this series of mods that I personally like that I find. So talk to you later.